Yo, man, we live and direct out here in L.A., Hold L.A., up. Los Angeles, California. Hold up. The blackest one. <laughs> and we got a very special Hold guest up. today, the swaggy one. Yeah. Swagger Doshi, Swaggy P. Yeah. Come chill up, pull up, and check it out. Hold up. Yeah. I had to eyeball all four cameras. Let's do it. Yeah. Swaggy P, y'all, check it out. First question we always ask everybody is when you first got to the league, who was the first person to bust your ass? Oh, first person to bust my ass. Um, I don't know if it's like busting my ass, but it was like Richard Hamilton, cause I just hate chasing this nigga off every screen. Like, <laughs> and I didn't, like I wasn't used to that. So I think and he went to work, he had like 20 something on me, but. Rip. Like, Rip Hamilton, I just hated. It was like you him. can't guard yeah, him. You yeah. can't but chase like, him. But like for the most part, like Kobe, of course. When I came nice back day. home, yeah, Mamba. Yeah. So when you came back home to LA in front of your family and friends, yeah. Kobe out there working. Yeah, <laughs> a couple pump fakes, and all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Had me in the ear looking crazy. So, but I still went to work on him too, though. I gave him a couple buckets. You okay, know? you got yeah. to say I did my stuff yeah, too. I yeah. got in my bag a little bit as, as a young boy. As a young boy, I feel you. Yeah. So you grew up with your mom and your dad. Yeah. So that's who installed this happy. Yeah, for sure. This happy life. Yeah. Like my, always smiling, swag <laughs> Pete. Like yeah, that's my, who installed it in you. My dad was like, he moved to LA from Milwaukee in Chicago to be like an actor out here. So okay. that's when I was born out here. He had a little one hit movie he always remind me of. Like. That's where you get your stuff from, boy. Yeah. You know, you the first yeah. superstar yeah, in the yeah, family. Yeah, Don't get it fucked up. Nah. Yeah, yeah, boy. You gotta know who you talking to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, but my brothers, like I had four brothers, and they all played, so they had to take me to the gym. My, the one next to me played like overseas, and he was like, he was like the best in the neighborhood and everything growing up. So they was forced to take me to the park, and that's how I was like, I got into it. I was bred into it. When you decided to go to high school, you chose Hamilton. Yeah. Why, then, you, why you choose Hamilton to go to? It was up the street, but then- Neighborhood. The neighborhood, but See? I ended up getting kicked out, though. You got kicked yeah. out of Hamilton. <clears throat> what, what you do? Chasing the women, you know, swaggy <laughs> feet always, man, swaggy feet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so the legend began long, long, yeah, long time yeah, ago, huh? Yeah, so I ended up wasn't like into, like messing up in school, so they had bust me to the valley. That's when I ended up going to Cleveland. And, um, because my boy was like, he ran into some AAU coach dribbling the ball and he asked him, do he know any players? And he brought my name up, took me to the AAU. I was hooping. He introduced me to the coach in the Valley. And then that's what happened. That's crazy. Yeah. So in high school, did y'all do something? Like, did y'all go to like state and- Uh. Well, you was just- was y'all a good team? Were y'all one of the best teams around? We was, but like, we didn't win nothing. <laughs> so, like, we lost in the championship game. I yeah. don't want to talk about all that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So, so you, I was going to work though. Uh, yeah. So when you came out, you chose uh, USC. Yeah. Was there anybody else that probably could have had a chance of getting you um, outside of USC? Probably just like UCLA. I didn't want to leave LA because I was like so so, so LA. Didn't you part of like that that generation? Um, you and OJ Mayo and a lot of guys. Cause a lot of guys weren't coming out of UCLA. Yeah. I mean uh, USC and going pro. Yeah, for sure. Like for that. Sure. But like all of a sudden they haven't won Man. every year or every <laughs> other year. They coming and it yeah. was like a drought for for, for sure, some time. for sure. And um, for me, I just UCLA was like more like bougie to me. So that's I what I want to ask yeah. you, like, cause I know when we were out here, when we played, you know, we were here from the early 2000s. So when we were here, that was the kind of the vibe that I got yeah. from the temperature, like the city, like, oh, UCLA, like that's kind of like the suburban yeah, school, yeah, SC, suburban like school. the city yeah. school. For sure, for So sure. that's, that was, that's, okay. Yeah, so that's why I wanted to go to USC. Like I'm not too far from there. I know the neighborhood um, and plus like they, UCLA had, too many people at that my position. I was like, Nah, I'm about to be fine for nothing. I need to go somewhere where I could get loose. You <laughs> yeah. know, so that's why I chose. You need some room. Yeah, hey, I need to get some shots up. Man. I'm trying to go pro. Man. I ain't trying to 
stay here for four years. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so what made you decide to go pro? You, you felt you had a um, chance. Somebody told you you was going lottery. Yeah, they. Um, I start seeing my name. You know when you start seeing your name on the boards. draft board, <laughs> I was like, oh man, this is for real now. So, uh, so I was like. They had OJ coming in next year. I was yeah. like, man, I ain't about to be staying with all these dudes and yeah. fighting for shots and, you know, so um, I think I, we went to the Sweet 16. I did my part, you know, so I was, put the team, the, city, the school on the map, so that's why I left. Yeah, it was Two time fingers. To, yeah. <laughs> time to go. Yeah, for sure, for so you, sure. Was there anybody, when you got drafted, you got drafted to the Wizards, was there anybody that you thought you was finna go to, that you was hoping to go to or something like that? Clippers, for sure. Oh, you just yeah. wanted to be LA I just, just hardcore. <laughs> you just wanted to just be at home the whole time. <laughs> that was man, in the Clippers. Well, I never left like the city, so I was like, man, the Clippers was like, they had the 14th pick or 13th pick. Yeah. So I thought I was for sure going there because we had talked, we, but somebody had slipped. I think it was, um, I forgot. Um, Al Thornton, I think. Thornton, Al Thornton. Okay, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah. that year they picked Thornton. So they picked Thornton because they didn't think he was gonna be there that yeah. long. So. so let me ask you this, dude, throughout the process, cause you seem like you was kinda like in my room where yeah. you could go from maybe high, but then a long yeah. way. So how many workouts did you do? Cause I know for me, I did like 20 <laughs> workouts. Sure. This is the Golden Goose, he one of the Golden Goose boys right. over here. He showed yeah. up for like two, three two teams, workouts. work like, out, <laughs> talk, get winding down. We out here. Working. Fighting for everything we can get. Gotta go for 20 workouts. Some people twice, they call you back, yeah. wanna talk to you. Like, you like, uh, really. yeah, what's up? You like, you gotta be all this and try and be all up about yeah. like, you know, I, I see ain't nobody. wanna go I back see, to this yeah. shit. Like, hell, like, you I gotta see nobody in. twice. No, yeah. no I, I seen the bull, but we came back for a dinner and a meeting. You see, that's for a dinner and a meeting. They come see us again. They talking about, nah, we want you to work out. We want yeah. you to uh, do this, and we want to stretch you or something. Like, they want to do something. You're like, what you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, bro, you ain't seen me rock out? Like, oh, oh man. I, I had to work out, like, I think a day before the draft or something like that with Boston. So. Yeah. What's up with that? I swear Man. to goodness, it was Boston who tried to get me yeah. to do that, to come do something the night before. Yeah. Swear to goodness. So I was like, man, fuck it, I'll do it. I don't I don't wanna get a bad name, you know? Yeah. I don't wanna be yep. telling people no, so. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, man, I need everything to be good, so this is just go go yeah. do it, yeah. So you, you get drafted to Washington. I actually didn't wanna go, didn't wanna go to DC, cause they already had like a full team, I felt like. I was gonna have to start all over and have to work my way into getting, cause they had Karam, Gil, Antoine, yeah. Deshaun, there was a playoff team, you know, yeah. I, and with the Clippers, I felt like they was rebuilding. So yeah. um, I really wanted to go there, but once I heard my name call, I was just happy to be getting called. So. Yeah. Man, we talked about that yesterday. Man, like, I was just. Different stories, but like, bro, once you get to that moment, it's like, I was mad, but the, yeah, everything just like, like at this moment right now, like man, I just achieved it. Yeah, it's like yeah. I can't be, I can't be, I mad. can't be mad in this moment. As much as I don't I like the right. way I got picked, whatever it was, it's, it's, everything is be better mad, right yeah. now. For sure, cause like my mom was there crying, and everybody. I'm like, damn, they so happy. Why I, I got to get myself yeah, in this well, mood? Be, I can't yeah. be looking crazy, being ungrateful. So I was just happy to put that hat on. Gil was the first person to call me. Yeah. Talking about I know you from LA. I was about to say, so did you know him beforehand or? Um, a little bit. I know his dad, cause his dad like was into like AAU ball. So, yeah. um, so I think he was probably one of the reasons they drafted me too. Mm. So, but um, he called me, told me just get in the gym, work, and all that. So, yeah, That's I didn't dope. know he was gonna be like that though. I didn't know <laughs> Gil was gonna be that crazy. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> So you know he's gonna be a fool. I know he's gonna be a fool. So talk fool. talk about that. When was the first time like when you get to the team and you realize like he was crazy. He's a fool. All right, like what? Well, tell me man. how that went. What was um, that story? <laughs> well, I had just like started getting a little money, so I never bought like no glasses for like a thousand dollars. You know, because you mean like some sunglasses? Yeah, boss. Uh, that was like a big purchase to me. So that's a huge, that's yeah. a thousand dollars for some, I'm sitting here like, I ain't never bought no thousand dollar sunglasses. So that's, that's it's, yeah, that's a big purchase. Man, <laughs> I come into the practice city, I got my shades on, stunning and all that, thinking nothing. Gil just, I don't know, would take my glasses. I guess it's some rookie initiation 
take my glasses and rub his balls with them. I'm so <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, I just, I never spent that much money on some glass, so I'm like, what? I can't be no punk. I'm like, dog, can't be no punk. This humble rookie ain't gonna respect me. So I'm trying to get mad, but he, <laughs> I'm like, dog, I just spent all that money and said, man, fuck these glasses, cheap ass glasses. Rub his balls, then break them. I'm like, dog, he have no respect for nothing. <laughs> but what can I do? I'm like, I'm not about to swing he, on him. He crazy like, already. Crazy. I <laughs> But then next thing you know, he um I come back after practice like two G's on my table on my, in my locker room. Like he always oh, okay. did crazy stuff, but like took care of me after. So Okay. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. That make it okay when yeah. he gonna double up what you paid yeah. for to make it you mad in the moment, but it's like, <laughs> I mean, he gonna come back twofold. Yeah, you can't yeah, really say yeah. much. So it's crazy though. Out of nowhere. Did the Wizards make you feel like you put your foot in the league where you can you feel like I'm respected to play in this league, I'm good enough to play in this league? Um, yeah, I got say probably my third or fourth year, you know, because the first year I was getting spot minutes, you know, yeah. I wasn't getting, you know, they was always making, they was making to the playoffs, so I get in here and there, but like once I think they traded Antoine and Karan, and it was just like a bunch of young guys, so I started hoping. You know, averaging like 17, 18, feeling myself. <laughs> How did yeah. that feel once you start, like once they cleared the, cleared the way right. a little bit, then it's like, it's okay, it's my time yeah, now. Yeah, it's my time. So yeah, then I had like my first 40 point game. I was like, yeah, it's, I'm thinking about the money now. Like, okay, I'm about to get a couple of dollars, man. Yeah, 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 I'm about to get this chicken. <laughs> hey, so, hey, so speaking of the chicken and getting the check, when you got the bag, like what is something where you went and you look back at it like, yeah, I did that. I like did that. that. Well, you went out and you said, boom. Boom. Shit. I probably um just, we could talk about, like, I had like a big, like, stripper party or something like that. <laughs> you know, just once I got that first contract, I just had a bunch of, you know, the homies and the, just throwing out, I guess I probably threw like, probably. 20 or something, 20 G's. I, I was, yeah, that's a big party. Man, I was going through my swaggy P mode. For the, the scruples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was like I took the whole hood and showed them something like they like Never wasn't seen used before. to seeing. So, yeah. like, yeah, I was like trying to take them with me. Yeah, yeah, like a nice celebration. Yeah, you, sh- you, yeah. showed, you showed it to them in a different way. They just yeah. seen the scruple club before. Yeah, they, the club. <laughs> <laughs> they just ain't seen it this yeah. way. <laughs> they ain't seen it like this. <laughs> Did you go to. Give us birthday party. Oh, crazy. The nah, million. yeah. The, million, the, million, yet? the million dollar the one? Nah, I came a year after, but I know I was there when he. Oh, was, legend was still talked about. Yeah, <laughs> but he was spending money. Mo, he spent like two million on the pool in his backyard to have a party or something like that. When I was there, he was spending <laughs> money, boy. That boy. Well, he said he spent two million on the pool just on to throw a, a party at his crib. Yeah. <laughs> How big was the rocks, fucking pit yeah, pool? Everything, the water found. He had a grotto like yeah. uh, like Playboy. Yeah, man. he had yeah. some Playboy shit. Then he ended up getting <laughs> traded like two months. Like <laughs> so uh, shit, I told him I'll take over there if you want me to. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I keep the crib right. right. Keep the crib. Oh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? Yeah, he gave me the keys. I ain't gonna lie, he gave me the keys. So. That's so that you bitch. stayed at Give a Crib? Hell I yeah. Hell yeah, I had that bitch lit. <laughs> I know. All right, hey, you already know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this big motherfucker. <laughs> Too big on the pool back here, it's just me, he gone. Oh it's my mine, God, man. Bro, I can just imagine, hey, man. It's mine, man. We're gonna put so that on crazy. another station, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> that story, because I know. <laughs> so you say you used to dunk yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Like, in the league, you dunk. Yeah, I caught a couple bodies. I used to like. What's the body you remember that you caught? LeBron. Mm. LeBron. It was my rookie year because he like, I was guarding him and he like sized me up like, why are you guarding me? Like he looked yeah. at me like, man, what you doing on me? He just jabbed, shot the three, and it was a long rebound. I think Haywood passed it to me. It was. Oh, he tried to run you down. Yeah, and I crossed up a booby over and I just jumped and I seen LeBron and banged it. Boomed his ass. Because then the guild was like, yeah, you don't know about him yet. 
You don't know about him. <laughs> talking shit. Talking shit. I was just geeked. I knew it was going to be on top 10 and all that. Yeah, straight yeah. up. The whole family. Sure, everybody from Creole called. Called back home that yeah. night, like, yeah, I know. Uh huh. I know you seen that. Hey, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, yeah. Right, that's, I, that's, I bet you were watching Sports Center right. NBA TV all night. <laughs> hey, bro, that, that's nothing like that. Like, that's something Man. people don't know. Like, us as athletes, like, we do something. <laughs> We going home to see whether we going to a restaurant or whatever. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Let me let me look at this TV yeah. for a second. They about, they about to show our, our highlights for the night. I did something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to see this. Don't let them push up. Don't let them skip you. Like, that's how y'all feel? Y'all gonna do me like that today, though? Then you see another highlight of somebody doing yeah. something wicked in there. You like, you put that up there, but you ain't throw my dunk up. I, you know what I used to have? Like, all right. Like, all right. What's wrong with, what's wrong with, like, like who, who I need to talk to up there? Who running the highlights? Like? Nah, you know, you know what I used to hate? I used to hate when they would put my highlight on NBA TV and my shit don't make ESPN. I'm like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> my shit make, nah, my shit gotta be on all networks. <laughs> Straight up. Like, wait, wait. You what, me- what they doing? Right, what they like, doing what, why I, you ain't get the memo? Like, have you ever got dunked on? Yeah, yeah everybody. Who, 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 who no, everybody. Don't make some people run. Matt coach. Yeah. Shit. What? It was Houston the Rocket. Game. Yeah, that's why I didn't think he was gonna dunk it like that. I ain't gonna. <laughs> he dunked it. I thought it was four, two, four, two. He just ended up banging it. I was like, damn. Mm. Rafe LaFrance dunked on my ass. For- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think you was about to say that. Right. <laughs> two times in a row, like like two the same play, ran the same thing. Damn. It was like a high screen and roll, and he rolled, and I'm like the bottom man, and I posed to rotate yeah. early, but I'm like I'm trying to be athletic on some shit. Like this Raven <laughs> friend, I'm gonna catch his shit. He caught that bitch, took one dribble, boom, in Denver. So in we Denver. we go back down, we shoot a shot, they come back and run the same fucking play, and my dumb ass late again. <laughs> And he booned it. Next time they ran it, ran that play again, I'm already at the free throw line when he when he screen roll. <laughs> like fuck that, I'm extra early. Right? <laughs> Motherfucker dunked the ball twice on me, twice. man. Twice, yeah. I don't know. I'm yeah, like, no people on TV gonna see this shit. Nah, you don't know, know what happened to me one time. Like what you saying, Steve Francis, Orlando Magic, Steve Francis. Right before he came to the Knicks, we were in the garden. Mm. And he he went he came baseline. I was like, you know, I'm not saying he about to man Stevie laid out on that. For real. And I found him. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, Q Rich. I said, <laughs> I'm looking like, hold on, this motherfucker dunk that. I'm like, yeah. I couldn't even do nothing. I'm to turn around to the bed. Right. Nate, Nate Rob over there. <laughs> big bro, big bro, big bro. I'm like, I'm like, oh, right. I'm like, damn. He, I'm talking about caught me hung on the rim, swung down, man, came back. Like, yeah, Q Rich, give me a man. little man. pink to the <laughs> side. I'm like, motherfucker, he, I got like, cause you know that's the guard yeah. too, but like, oh, 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 I'm like, oh. said, you still got that, bro? Right. You got that still, T man? Casually too. Yeah. Like that's why I didn't like you said I didn't think he was gonna dunk it, but that, that definitely <laughs> reminds me of the same thing. Yeah, you said he. I know he gonna yeah. be hitting. You remember that Q Rich? <laughs> <laughs> You finally get to go to LA. Uh, when you hear you finna get traded to LA or you finna go and play f- for the Lakers and Kobe still yeah. there, like how did that feel since you love L- LA? Oh man, that was like a dream come true. Like and, um, like for me, like Dan Tony was cool too. He let you like hoop and shoot. <laughs> and me coming back home, like I knew my mom and everybody was happy. And that's when I had like my first, my son, my son was being born so, uh, like it felt good to be at home. I, I could be, I could go for my mom, then go see my son, and just come for practice and really like get that LA feel back. Yeah. I know people was happy to kind of get the energy yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, to see me. So, and, but only thing was like the tickets was crazy. You know, everybody wanted to Trust see. Me. Yeah, you play for the Lakers. Do they want to hook you up with tickets? Uh, not, it only goes yeah, so it's only long. Goes so yeah, long. Time, yeah. It's hard to do every game and take everybody. Uh, you, you know talking that. about the whole, you know whole game. Game. Yeah. yeah. So sometimes yeah, you only get two tickets. Yeah. 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 I need Kobe stories. <laughs> you play. You played three. What three, four years with him? Yeah. Like how was that playing with <laughs> that dude? Um, that boy. He studies the game no matter what. Like even when he was hurt, like he's right there looking out that out the um, equipment room, just looking at everything we do. When I come back and practice, he was like, I can't wait to get back out there because I know you can only go left. I'm seeing you that way. I'm like, damn, I thought you was getting treatment. <laughs> oh, he come in. I remember the first time he told me to come work out with him and 
Orange County at six in the morning. And I'm in the valley, so I have to wake up like four thirty five just to get out there. And he's in the parking lot already, waiting on everybody to see who's gonna be on time and who's gonna come <laughs> early to get work out. And it's six in the morning, he come in with shades on, black shades on, like ain't no sun out, bro. <laughs> what is you doing? He's swagging on us, <laughs> just come in. He said, I've been out here since five, four in the morning to see who's gonna be here early. I'm like, who thinks like that? Like, why are you a coach? <laughs> like, like, you're supposed to be tra training with us. It's ain't a competition who get here earlier. Yeah, that's why he coached. Yeah, hey. and then it was like, everything was like to black out until you can't move no more. So when we yeah. work out, it's like, I do the same move. 30 or 40 times, then we do the a secondary move to it 30 or 40 times, then we do a third secondary move 40 or 30 times, then we go to the other side. Like Working the ladder. Yeah, it's oh, just ladder. being there the for like four or five hours, just like, I'm like, man, he called me in the second time, I act like I wasn't, I'm, like, man, I'm out of town, <laughs> bro, I can't even do this no more. I ain't working out for no. That's what we got from him, that's what I got from him. Like, yeah. man, he, when it comes to this basketball stuff, he he's Dexter <laughs> in basketball. You know, it gotta be, I gotta kill you a certain type yeah, of way, wrap sure. you up and take your DNA type. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And he's meditating, he's pre, he, 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 he. Man, everything is like regimented. Yeah. I'm I mean, me and my boy was in there, like when we was working out when we was talking about the Drew lead or something, and he just got, like he was talking with us at first about it. Then like, I guess we was talking too long about it. He was like, hey, y'all worry about that shit later. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped like, damn, you just talking with me, bro. <laughs> See, y'all worry about that shit later. You, you gotta work. I didn't, yeah, I'm talking too long about what? that shit. My homie was crying the whole time. I said, you shut you up, dude. You shut your ass up. I ain't gonna talk to motherfucker. But when he leave, I'll be talking again. <laughs> Crazy. Man. <laughs> we had the whole job. Like, man, I don't even know what to talk about. I'm just gonna ask questions about <laughs> <laughs> drills and shit. That, <laughs> That's hilarious. You thought it was all good, yeah. then he just veered all the hell up, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <talk> about <laughs> oh my god, man. That's crazy. <laughs> oh. So, when exactly? Cause you speak on it like you was getting into your swaggy mode. But yeah. when did you get the nickname? Or when did the Alter ego, the <laughs> swaggy P come about. How, when, where, why? Um, it was when I got traded to the Clippers. It was like that playoff run when we was down 23 or something like that to Memphis. Mm -hmm. But I came to the locker room with like Versace shirt, silk, chains on his shirt open. <laughs> and I remember Karan, like the next day, like the next game, I didn't have it on, and Karan was like, what you doing? You gotta own that swaggy shit now. You can't turn that off. So I just, I kept, it me. Going. I kept it going, <laughs> it, it worked. He said, boy, that make money, boy. Better be you, oh, yeah, yeah, all the time. And you killed through it. Uh, yeah, I kept coming with it. So. When you first heard Swaggy P, cause you know, everybody want a nickname, yeah. and everybody want a dope nickname. Yeah. But when you first heard Swaggy P and everybody was really <laughs> calling you Swaggy P, how did that feel? Uh, I didn't think it was gonna happen. I ain't gonna lie. Like <laughs> hear coaches calling me swag and all that. So uh, it was something I was playing with online, just on social media, trying to come up with a name for myself. And I guess it stuck. And like it was all tied into like the meme I had going mm -hmm. on at the time. Now the like, world called you. Yeah. Swaggy P, so. so so this so what made you? Where did you get that from? Where you came to the game that day with the Versace <laughs> with the shirt open? Like where did you get? Like when did you start dressing and doing uh, these different things? Like and where did you get that swag from? Period. Uh, just for being in L.A. But it was like, like in D.C. Like people didn't really pay attention to like me coming into the arena and all that. So. I always like like to dress up and be wild and be different. So when I got to the Clippers, it was like perfect time at playoff time. Spotlight. Spotlight. You know, playing with Chris Paul, playing with Blake. You know, um, and it's L.A. Hollywood. Everything we did would get magnified. So when I came in that day, I didn't think it was gonna take off like that, but <laughs> it started something. Now it's like everybody go crazy in that tunnel now. You get an opportunity to play with the Warriors yeah. for a year. 
and they win the championship. Yeah. And we'll call you a world, you a world <laughs> champion. Yeah. Like, so. Uh, yeah, I see yeah. him go get that. And one season, boy, like, like you, done, you done been on teams where they've been the worst team, they've been one of the man. bad teams, or they've been a playoff team and so forth, on, but you finally get a season right. to see a real championship team go through the whole season, go through a playoff yeah. journey, and, and win the whole goal. How was that? It was dope. And for me, like, I never won like a championship from high school, college anything so I was like ah, man it was unreal especially like making it that far going through a game seven with the Rockets being down by like 20 in the first quarter you not knowing like what's gonna really happen you know yeah. um, but he, like just pulling it off being like in the parade saying the whole city love you because from a kid like going to see like the Lakers parade back in the day, I was in the crowd, but actually being on that bus and having no shirt, my, yeah, no shirt, no shirt, rose, all that turn drinks and like to have my fam there was dope. Like I think like it's like an experience. I think no, you gotta. It's like one in a lifetime for real. So when did the Gilbert Arenas and your son beef start? <laughs> <laughs> because I, I feel like this is a beef. This is one of the most classic beefs we've right? ever seen, ever. ever. Yeah. So um, it happened like after like I I broke up with old girl like and Gil just uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was chilling like out of nowhere and Gil would like always come over and like try to cheer me up for some reason. Like you know he felt like he must have felt like I was down. So. He like, man, cheer. He called me out the blue, cheer. Man, what's wrong with you, man? Don't let nobody get you down. The next thing you know, he must have climbed my fence and knocked on my door. And just I hear a banging at the door. Boom, boom, boom. I'm with my son. And he watching cartoons. And he come to the door. And, you know, he just start messing with Nick, you know, out of nowhere. Start kicking his toys and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, man, what's wrong with you? He was like, I'm his god dad. You know, because they... But my son always talking trash to him, and they got like a crazy, I don't know. Since my son love him, so crazy. Oh, no, that's that's we can tell the that's love why is they there. Always messing with each other. Yeah, we can tell the love is there. Yeah, it's like it's like as much as Gil would terrorize him. Oh man, he be so he be excited to see for him. Every opportunity to like, even when my son huh, <laughs> made his first shot the other day and went crazy, Gil posted something like. He ain't making it. You ain't gonna make it to the league. <laughs> like, you can't tell a seven year old that, man. No, like, you can't tell no seven year old you ain't gonna Yo, make it. So good. Right? <laughs> like like that that video, talking about that video, man. I love watching that video. Yeah. His celebration, <laughs> how he hit it. Like he been here before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And his dad is Swaggy P. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he, he wrapped it up and put a cherry on top the next day. <laughs> the next day with the walk with the with the fit right. and the get out the, the car, car, walk to school <laughs> with so much intention in his walk. He was intentionally walking with so much swag. Man. Oh, but I said, man, this is this is hilarious right and here. He was really this really him though. Came man. with a I'm suit like, the next yeah. day. Like, nah, I gotta I gotta I, I gotta come with it. Like, all right, go Boy. ahead. Boy. Like, <laughs> Do he practice in celebrations and stuff? I'm like, man, you gotta make the shot first, you know? But that was his first shot? Yeah, that's his first the first game of the they season this year. So that's dope, yeah. man. That's, that's so dope. But speaking of that, right, because we come from a time where celebrating was kind of frowned upon. Right, for sure. So how does it feel for you? Cause you somebody like yeah. how we were, you had fun when you played, you celebrated, yeah. did different things, but how does it feel now to see how, you know, now oh, it's like crazy, it's the greatest right? thing, but like we was getting talked about like, I, I was just respect that. the game, yeah, stop disrespecting. But now it's like, it's right. viewed as like, oh, he had so much passion and joy for the game. Like, you know crazy. what I'm saying? It's like, crazy. we did too for that, man. <laughs> How do you, you feel labeled. when you see that? <laughs> um, I, I don't want to be one of them guys if like, you know, one of them angry old heads <laughs> and all that. So, you know, <laughs> but I say my two cents, but I just don't, you know, cause I hate the fact that like they label you like a certain type of person just because you like to celebrate and, and enjoy the game. But now like, He's a great player. He's and they, got they see it it's, now yeah. that it's different. It's, it's different. Through yeah. a different yeah. lens. Let's be him. Like, 
enjoy being who you are. Don't let nobody change you. You were never a person that I looked at like you got yeah, mad or yeah. mean and was killing somebody yeah. in a mean type way. It was more like a smiling type yeah, way. Do you feel sure. like your game could have got better if you were add that type of aggression? Um, I don't want to say he wasn't aggressive. He yeah. still tried to get fit. Yeah, like, I'm still trying to get yeah. angry. I'm, saying, I'm about to yeah. kill you. Like I'm saying, like you doing this and you happy doing yeah. that. You're sure, you're sure. <laughs> doing what you do. Imagine if you just Kobe mentality. Right. Like I mean, the motherfucker, y'all finna Man. get this work. Yeah. That yeah. forty might be a sixty. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. I just, I don't know. I just enjoy playing the game, so I never really thought about like having a attitude i just kept it like if i get a bucket i'm gonna let you feel it like i'm celebrate like i learned i seen y'all doing it so yeah. like in high school i used to come down doing that after a dunk like i felt like that was swagging on somebody yeah. so me smiling and giving you buckets i felt like that was probably more disrespectful <laughs> more just because you yeah. know like, like the white how they labeled him the same oh, way yeah, they yeah. was like man his he's so nice and he's he's yeah. always happy go look it's like shaq is the kid, a big kid yeah. but here but this motherfucker <laughs> here like <laughs> like he he crazy like crazy. i'm talking about like he's so dominant he's he's strong he powerful it wasn't like he was taking it easy on you but yeah. he was like if you meet him or if you be around him and talk to him yeah. he's like the coolest dude ever for sure so when like i know some coaches be like oh he oh yeah they take I it like oh he playing yeah. he not taking this yeah as serious as we think he should yeah you know yeah, what that's I'm saying? one thing i hate it but i was like um you can't be in the league for 12 years if you're not taking the game serious so yeah. I, I hated that label because i i worked hard I, obviously you can't just buckets don't grow on trees you know, but that's something that i that i, that I want to say i read about you like that you yeah. used to be just the ultimate dunker yeah. and everybody was talking nuts about yeah. you like all he could do is dunk so you yeah. went and, and basically yeah. just Switched went the crazy yeah. on the jumper and the wet ball and just really became yeah. more of that. I mean you would get occasional dunk but yeah, people but you know know you more for, for, for letting that thing fly. Yeah for sure for sure so. How did that happen? <laughs> um, You went from a dunker to just a, to a shooter. I don't know I just you get tired of like trying to the dunk on everything that I found myself like being sore after the games and mm -hmm. from falling on the floor and all that. And I just wanted to expand my game. I wanted to, cause in high school, my coach had me at like the four position. So mm -hmm. I knew once I get to that level, I wasn't gonna be a six, six center or right, power right. four. So yeah. I had to work and um, I looked up to players like Kobe being right next door. Like I had the Afro and all that, so. The new generation of LA players, like yeah. you part of that new generation, like yeah. uh, like I say before, Paul Pierce, and it was like a a few: Paul yeah. Pierce, Baron Davis, Dre Andre Miller, Miller, yeah, Andre Miller. And then it's Shine, and then it's like Shine LA yeah. players start coming out by the lows, and you seeing like the top players and so forth. Yeah. How does it feel LA to be unified? Part right. of that history of these LA players coming out and going to the league, and to see where it at right now with some of the top players being from. LA. Yeah. Oh, it's dope because it's like I was there with them. Like they was watch like some of the moves I see them doing. I know they where they got it from. You yeah. know, like it's dope, and all of us like know each other. So yeah, and it's a respect value. We all, if not, we all come together, go out, or be playing the drew still, still I talking shit. Yeah, about I, I, so I it's see like, that. like a family dope. feel still. Yeah. yeah, that's what that's what it looked like from the outside yeah. looking in, especially like all y'all all around the same age and there's so many of y'all. Yeah. And like, you see all y'all interact together and just to see y'all in the league at the top, having the guys at the top level yeah, and dope. so forth phone, cause like Paul Pierce was holding it down. At DB, Man, and Andre Miller. for sure. They was LA kids. Yeah. They were top Hell players yeah. in this league, making all-star games yeah. and all that stuff. And now you see like from James all-star Harden, game yeah. with mm -hmm. Russell. All-star game with, Paul and George, guys yeah. in the All Star game. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's only like 24 spots. For like, sure, like 20 spots. Like you got eight to ten guys in the All Star like, game. I think we like we could play year round. Like y'all from the East Coast, Midwest. It's snowing out there, man. We could go. Yeah, got to get in that gym. Yeah, yeah. That gym. but now yeah, I don't think nobody play outside no more. Nah. Like it's, it's yeah. unheard you of, right? Yeah, you yeah. Into your league, like, yeah. Concrete, you feel like you jump high. Yeah, like I've been playing on concrete. <laughs> shit. Yeah, like you jump hey, high. Man. A bit. 
Jordan Farmer was like your rival in, yeah. in high school. And to see both of y'all go pro. For sure. You know, that's the person you looking at when you looking around to see both of y'all go pro. How was that? Uh, it was it was like, that's one of the reasons I wanted to go to uh, the Clippers because he got drafted by the Lakers. Because we've been like rivals, but like best SCU, friends. UCLA. Forever. forever. So uh, he motivated when he got drafted to the when he got drafted to the Lakers, I was still at SC. Like, damn, he done, he got on. I can't yeah. fall off now. So you know, so you you ain't go to UCLA. Yeah. You went to UCLA. You, Lakers <laughs> might have got you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. I went to UCLA. You got to go to the people. <laughs> now. I made it a little harder, but I was like, I still got there. But um, that's my dog for yeah. sure. Since we still talk, we still hang out. Um, First time we got a chance to play with each other on the Lakers again. Yeah. So it was like. Like, yeah, how was that? Yeah, right. it was dope because, like, knowing somebody since what, 14, 15, now you're older, playing professional, and you and your family know each other. And yeah. it's like we've been playing against each other for so long, but actually hanging out after the part, after the game. But now we, like, in the locker room together. It was dope. It was dope. Straight up. Yeah, for sure. But let me ask you this. How did so you got your your most hated yeah. in, your, in your own brand? And I definitely want to talk about that because I I got respect for every you know it's a few people out there doing their own thing. Yeah. You've been doing it for like three four years now, yeah. or longer. So how did you get into that? What what outside of being swaggy P? I know the swag <laughs> yeah. has something to do with it. But how did you like literally like go from like being swaggy P to really turning into a brand and doing that? Um, it's just like. I just started making some clothes one day and like, and for the me and my homies, like I feel like at the time, like it was so much going on in my life. Like I was in papers about everything. Different things. Different things, Various you know. Things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just hit like TMZ, tabloids here and there. And I just felt like I was the most hated. So me and my homies are wearing some stuff that I made that said most hated on it. And some people was like, damn, that's dope. And I started light bulb ringing. I'm like, I'm still known for fashion. Let me put some stuff out and see how it goes. So we put like a little capsule out and shit sold out in like a day. So I was like, man, we gotta do this for sure. Like, yeah. hey, I gotta keep it going. And I've been doing it for like four years now. I got it in like certain stores. Oh, so you actually got it in yeah. stores too? That's okay, that's dope. Yeah, so. I gotta give y'all some, man, but you know. Yeah, oh, yeah you know? I definitely, uh, that rap, was the next question. Rap. I was gonna let us finish. <laughs> I was gonna let that marinate a little bit, but that was the next question. I need some of sure. that shit. Straight up. What's your, what's your thoughts on like the guys uh, now dressing? Like, uh, uh, like how they dress coming to the game and so forth phone because you heard JJ Reddick <laughs> just said, like, you know, more guys is into dressing, dressing <laughs> than they is preparing for dressing right. than they is for the actual game. No, I think, uh, I don't think that I think it's still a competition with everything like like coming in that locker room these people like you know you gotta be fresh now like yeah. and for the most part I think it's good for the league because you get money is money and looking cool now so yeah. all right so you go to fashion shows you could get bigger endorsement deals like somebody like myself that wasn't like an all-star but because of my following I yeah. still got like I could get the same amount uh, from an appearance fee than some of these all stars yeah. just because of my oh, swaggy P for something. So yeah. I, I feel like it's good, but you, know, you still can't lose focus of that game, yeah. you know, because I think you can't post nothing if you're losing. You know, you got to know. Yeah, thing, the main yeah thing you can't it. you can't lose focus of that ball because it's more money in the plan than anything you gonna get from fashion, really. Who got the most swag in the league right now? <laughs> Who does Swaggy P give the stamp of approval? Who get a Swaggy P swaggies? award in the uh, league right now? Dang, right now, like besides like like a Russell or something like that, Russell Westbrook. Russell Fashion King. Yeah, why not? So right now, but um, boy, I like how Cool's trying. I cool Kuzma, doing his thing. Kuzmania's you trying. rolling with that? <laughs> you for the Kuzmania? I'm you not rolling with the blonde? The Golden Lord? I think he. <laughs> they that, don't know who that is, though. We know who that is. <laughs> I remember Meteor Man Robert and Robert Townsend. Townsend. Yeah, they don't know Robert Townsend. 
Meteor Man, but I think like that's him now. He found something. He's been looking for something. To, <laughs> he found it. He found it. That's yeah, it. I, sure. I'm like you, right? I'm not one of these old dudes that's hating yeah. everything. But literally, when I'm looking at a lot of this stuff, yeah. I be confused. <laughs> and I'm maybe to go because far. I because yeah. I was never the you know I wasn't the fashion dude. Look, man, give me some J's and you know a little sweatsuit yeah. or something. I might throw some <laughs> jeans and a polo on, but I ain't never been the guy to be. Like on that yeah, end, no. the yeah, fashion but y'all had or all the J's. That's what I'm saying. I was cool with that. That was man. our fashion. Oh, that was my J's, fashion. That was my that was my swag God and everything. Damn. That was my swaggy piece yeah. stuff right there. Throwing the J's that ain't out yet. And Throw them on. Yeah. So, yeah, there you go. So I'm For saying, sure. like when I see what I be seeing <laughs> these days, man, bro, bro be having four five buttons open with they with they taco meat showing with the little jewels and the little, it, hey, yeah. it'd be a lot going on. It's a on. lot going on, but. You know, that's where the NBA, I see football players trying that too now. Like, they every come league. in like Mortal Kombat yeah. and stuff now. Boy, you seeing that SWAT right? teams yeah. and everything. It's, 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 it's out here, boy. It's it, they out going. here now. They, they going. going. Like the, the New Jerseys. You see the New Jerseys. Yeah. Like, what you think about the New Jerseys? Which Just ones do you it. think dope? Just like, do it. I don't like, know. Of course, right? everybody know that Miami Heat. It's Miami dope. Vice jerseys. The Miami hard, like, Vice City jerseys. It's fire. Jerseys. Crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, Y'all like the Mavs jerseys? Oh yeah, them, the I don't neon like, I don't like the leathers <laughs> on it. I don't like the leathers. The the the, the color's cool, but the yeah, leathers for real. I if, like, yeah, I don't like how they put the leathers on the mouth jersey. So which one you think? I like the Clippers. I ain't gonna lie, the little old English. I LA do. Shit. I yeah. do. I yeah. love the Clippers. Yeah, 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 San Andreas. Yeah. I love the Clippers. I like uh, Brooklyn's best style. Oh, yeah, the with the joint. coochie, yeah, 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 them hard. Fire. I, I yeah. like. Um, I kind of like them Cream City, Milwaukee though. They, they, that they green kinda is lit. Oh, the, the cream one, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. got a Cream City on the front of them yeah. or something like that. Like they kind of dope. What about don't Atlanta? Got one Peach Tree or something like that? Yeah, pe- <laughs> them Peach Tree straight. I like them Peach Trees. Them, them, them hard because Peach Tree like in the middle. I like them. But I think that all ties into like what's going on with the, in the fashion, co- yeah, with the fashion and the culture. Yeah. Yeah. What was the best jerseys y'all had there? Y'all had any like special jerseys? Not like uh, those nautical joints we used to have, the clipper joints. Yeah, nautical, nautical jersey? Nautical. Oh, nautical, okay. It was like, we had the, the, the joints with up. the white and baby blue joints uh-huh. with the flags going down oh, the yeah, legs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those was fly. Every team I played for didn't have shit. For real? <laughs> <laughs> Every team, like, I was about to say, did they have like, all that like for with the Clippers? Like, like they, oh, our first year, they just turned changed them from them old school Clipper jerseys yeah, that, that, that like wore. Ryan Harper and them and all them was wearing. Y'all was at the Sports Arena too. No, nah, we, nah, we, we, we was in Staples Center. Oh yeah, well, that was their second year okay, at Staples okay. Center when we got there. So the Clippers had new jerseys yeah. from last from the year before, or with, with a jersey like Ryan Harper and them. Then yeah. I got to Cleveland and we had them. Uh, them baby blue and orange and black jerseys. Phoenix Nick, had none? I had fire jerseys. I'm about to say. Then I got to Portland. Nick's jerseys was crazy yeah. too. I had alternates, St. Patty's days. I, I got nah, to Portland, was, there was just three jerseys, the red, the black, Portland. and the white. Yeah. Oh, man, I played for Swaggy Town, like Miami Heat. Oh Heats. yeah, but it was Adidas that day. Yeah, yeah, Adidas yeah. was Orlando, kind of man. Shit. I had all fire Nike jerseys. running and stuff, they gear so hard right, right man, now. Man, Sweat suits right and now. stuff. Yeah, we get, That's we get. different time. Yeah, it's fire. Yeah. How long y'all been knowing each other for? Since was like he was 14. a little big head yeah. ass, bifocal wearing ass, 14 year old. So he always wore glasses. His body just caught up nah, with him. I, uh, his, his, his <laughs> I, I wore contacts for a long time. Oh, okay, I just okay. started being an adult. All right, be all like, right. I feel like a nerd. So I had to the cameras are still wait, rolling wait, on this with shit. LA, right? back in the day, like, how was y'all into that? Like, was it still TMZ when y'all was around? Man? That yeah, wasn't, no. we was way more under the radar than you bros, man. We yeah. we weren't, it wasn't all up in TMZ. our face like that, bro. We was we was everywhere and nobody knew. Like, Damn. you know what I'm saying? Even in LA? Bro, we was in the hood. We, we was practicing at Southwest College in yeah. Inglewood. Yeah. Well, it was in South Central, it's yeah. not Inglewood, because people would get on my ass. I'm like, nah, <laughs> that's South Central. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was in South Central. And uh, we used to just be everywhere. Like we used to be Man. in the mall, like you know, Fox Hill was considered like the little ghetto Hell mall. Yeah. We stayed in that joint. Sure. I stayed in the marina, Miss so we was right down the street. Yeah, we used to just go everywhere. For we real. used to go to 
you know, we clubs was, we that was, we can kind of use our fast pass yeah. with, you know, we was, we was, Benjamin. We were the team for the people. We were <laughs> yeah. amongst the people. You could see, touch, smell, no, see us yeah, all the time. Yeah, I like, remember that. Club we can use our friend Benjamin with <laughs> to get in, you know, we we do our do. But we, we made it work. So like, y'all didn't get caught up in none of that. Like, we got put out a couple of times, like denied, like turn your uh, ass around, go yeah. home. And then that's yeah. why we started hanging out at all colleges for a while. Like going to every college campus where we could find to go to, whatever. We everywhere. We still man. was, you couldn't, hey man, you couldn't tell us nothing. We was kicking. We left, we left our sure. footprint in a lot of places. Oh, no, y'all did. <laughs> man, that's a wrap, man. We want to, man, show love, appreciate my appreciate dog, looking, Swaggy man. P in thank the you, building. For sure. Man, that, all our guests get special. Special little oh, gifts and things, you know what I'm saying? Box, we like man. to show the major box. appreciation, the you know what I'm saying? Y'all see that world. Ooh, That's the knucklehead stamp of approval, the little black box with a little couple little little treats in there. Okay. We know you in the fashion for yeah. it. You got merch and everything, yeah. so you know, we, you know we could get our merch on Swaggy P. That's helping okay. us out. All right. And you know, we got very special sponsors, man. Hennessy, they hit you with the VSOP, Ooh, with, the VSOP. With, the, with the special edition knuckleheads bottle, oh, you feel shit. me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, man, y'all doing it big out here. You know what I'm saying? So I love, bro. It's an honor, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Man.